So what you're seeing here is, is DNA packaged into chromosomes in a cell which is actually dividing and creating two daughter cells. And the fireworks that surround it are marking the ends of cables that actually pull the chromosomes apart into two separate cells. And so the reason the microscope is important is because it's a way of looking at, at the dynamics of cells very rapidly in three dimensions. This particular cell is important because when cells divide, they're very sensitive and will die easily in a microscope. And so it's sort of a bit of a tour de force to be able to follow this process without the cell dying in such detail. Now this is the newer of the microscopes. I'm told that the microscope that got you the Nobel Prize was developed on the living room floor of a colleague's house and if the story is true uh, you used your own money and you were unemployed at the time how much of that is actually accurate all of that is actually accurate so uh, um, about 2005 or so actually I worked for my father's machine tool company for about seven years decided I was a bad businessman decided to try to come back to science um, I called up my friend we were both at, at Bell Labs back in the 90s and we, and we had this idea then for this microscope that would see things really small but not necessarily really fast and so since we were unemployed but we're really excited about the idea we put about twenty five thousand of each of our own money into it he wasn't married so we didn't have to do it in the garage we could do it in the living room and then we were off to the races now as but, you're talking we're looking at you in a video uh, handling your new microscope. How much right. better is this new microscope than the one you built that already got you the Nobel Prize? So I guess, you know, I've, I've heard what you've been saying. I would say it's a different microscope. I think, it, I think it has the potential to be as impactful as the other one. But the point of this new, new microscope is to be as transformative in being in the speed dimension to see the dynamics of cells as the old microscope was transformative for seeing down to the single molecules inside of single cells. So it's kind of like, you know, having a minivan to take the kids to school for one microscope, but then having a Ferrari if you want to go on the racetrack on Sunday yourself. Well, the images are startling and the comparison is, <laughs> is charming, but uh, what is this going to do for science, do you think? Uh, well, it's still very early for both microscopes, so they're, they're first and foremost fundamental tools, but they each allow us to see different things. The, the high-resolution microscope will allow us to make the connection between single molecules which are dead and inanimate and how they come together to create things that reproduce and, and move and eat and excrete, whereas this microscope is all about, you know, even, even a perfect snapshot of say a, a football game won't tell you the rules of the game you have to be able to see the movie of it and so being able to see the movie of how cells do what they do in their insides is going to be helpful for us to understand how they actually work